Ooh, wee big mo. What I'm gonna teach you today is how to change the lock in your green touch trimmer rack. Yeah, and it's very, very, very simple. There's only one hard part. Everything else is super simple. So let's do it really concise and simply, and here we go. Okay. You wanna have your lock unlocked like that. Then you take, you can take <clears throat> a uh, 16 millimeter wrench or socket, but if you're a red-blooded American boy like Mo, you will use a 5 8 Yeah. Five eight, good old American five eights. And what you do, you see this bolt back here. You're gonna have a bolt on the back of your green touch rack, I promise you. And what you're gonna do is loosen it. Take it all the way out. As you can see, when you do that, this kind of flops around now. Okay, you turn it, turn this all the way over here, and then, ta-da! You can pull this right out. Then what you do is you just take it and turn it like that. See how I did that? You just turn it and then take it out of that hole right there. Okay. Then what you do is you take your new lock, take your new lock, put it in that hole that it was in, and this one's a little bit bigger, so just a tad. Then what you do is you take your new lock, you put it in there, you turn this, hard to hold this and do this at the same time but make sure it ain't gonna come out you have it turn like this towards you then you put I can get it out of here okay you follow it <laughs> then you put your uh, bolt back in there while you're holding this in the correct position and you tighten her back down. And I'm telling you, it's just that easy. And it locks. You see how I just locked it? <clears throat> and you're going to lock it. It's done. It's that easy. I mean, I made it look more difficult than it really was, probably trying to hold this camera, but it's done. There you go. Ta-da! But the hard part is, there is a hard part, and that is buying the correct lock for it. If you're like Big Mo, you will have long since thrown away the manual to these things, okay? which tells you which lot, but you could always look online. But the trick about that is I've seen people that have bought the lock that it says to buy and it didn't work because it's a little different. So what I would do if I were you, take your old lock, original lock that came out of it, take it to the hardware store and match it up. Make sure this gap here is like the same and the, the length of this is the same and the body of it's the same or same or really close size. And uh, that's probably the best way to do it. That's the way I did it. I went to Ace, just because it's close, right down the road. And this is the one, this is the lock. That I bought. But if you don't have an Ace or Whatever, I would still, I would still take the old lock with you to the hardware store 
and just match it up and you're going to get the right lock and you're not going to have to buy four locks and figure out crap that one don't work i'm gonna have to take it back or all that jazz so there you go man simple simple easy breezy now let's go mow something a little something something and then uh we'll talk about something else here in a bit uh for anybody that's just watched this video just to uh you know see that done uh please hang in there and uh watch the rest of it will help me out help the lawn stars out thank you let's do it then here is the results of the yard not too bad um pardon my boo-boo yeah i got whacked in the end of the nose with a rock while i was edging and yes it hurt it brought tears to my eyes and i was bleeding everywhere but it's all good it's all for a, the cause of lawn care yeah uh anyway um 
what I wanted to do right here at the end of the video is give a little update on these Toro glasses. I don't know if you remember these, the HD ones. They're yellow, see? Um, I've been wearing these the past few days. I kind of had put them away because I wear my other Toro sunglasses, sunglass uh, safety glasses. And uh, I usually wear those and I saw those in the truck. I was like, it was a, well, pretty overcast today. Yeah also but it's been real we've had a lot of real overcast dark days and uh i just wanted to let you guys know man if you this is something you really ought to pick up some of these hd these toro hd glasses because they make everything look so freaking much brighter on a on a uh, cloudy overcast day for one thing it uh i don't know it gives you a little pick me up because it it just seems like a almost like a sunny day when you have them on but also uh it makes it where you could see things better you know if you uh miss a little something or you can kind of see what you're doing better uh, because it makes more contrast and what you're looking at so i guess that's what i'm trying to say i wish this thing would uh give you an idea of what it does i don't know if you could tell on camera but anyway Guys and gals, thank you for sticking it out the rest of this video, the ones that did. And I appreciate all you. Uh, thank you for watching the whole thing. And uh, helps us out, helps the algorithm out, get it out to other people maybe. And that's what it's all about, just getting it out to more people. It's just for fun and, and uh, kind of documenting what what we do every day but anyway y'all be safe out there drink your gatorade or whatever it is you drink to replenish your minerals and drink your water and take your vitamins and till next time big mo signing off Boo! Hasbén a Lone Stars Dramedy Network presentation dolling.